who's the newest little girl that was born there. I saw her when she was 14 days old and she was like the size of like a newborn human baby. magic they've made a mickey on the ground out of just those flowers that dropped from these trees i love that oh down to 35 minutes for kilimanjaro okay our first ride of the day and my favorite here kilimanjaro safari love flight of passage for the technology and like the thrill but then this one is just still i had to pick a favorite animal kingdom i have to go with this one because it's the only animal it's like the heart of this park look at all the theming in here all of this up above you and the thatched roof they also even have um, animals in the queue, which is really cool. You have to know to look for them back there. I didn't get my camera out in time, but they had, it was the, like, what are those when big the crane birds that have, like, kind of the crown on their heads? Places, something crown, crane, the something like that. Cold, they had them back there. I believe the hippos. I've sometimes seen them like super duper up close. Actually, I don't think that one's the hippos. Let's see, it might be the next one we go around. In front of us, it looks like we have a saddle built stork. Oh, you look at that right there. Looks like he's gonna cross right in front of the truck. But saddle built stork can actually get up to five feet tall. Hi, baby. With a wingspan okay. of about nine feet long. Oh my goodness. The right hand side. Oh, that's hot, baby. Actually, it's actually a bongo. Which is also amazing. Look at the top. Okay, this is like the best. Look, they're so active right now. Hi. Oh, there's another one of those storks back there. They oh my gosh, they're like swimming. Most of their day underwater. Look at the sun. Hippos can actually hold their breath for about two up to eight minutes at a time. Look at these guys just chilling right here. So, they'll actually sink down to the bottom and... Yeah, this is the other pond that usually has the hippos. Ooh. And all these birds. Hello, birds. This is a great safari already. We're seeing so many things up close. <laughs> the outstretch wings, the drying off pose. <laughs> Yo, look, oh, there are two of those. They're like going backstage. Whoa. All right, crocodile, crocodile. Look at them all over there. 16 feet long and about 500 Dogs are in here. Oh my gosh, look at them. We have a few African wild dogs. Look at them. Also known as the painted dogs because their tails actually look like big fluffy baby or scent. Oh, wow. Group of white bearded wildebeest oh. with one cross on the road right now. <laughs> now, white bearded wildebeest can migrate. Hi. They're almost not going to get the paint. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, they're so little. Their name from their ability to spring straight up in the air about six to eight feet tall, <laughs> and then can spring at 13 feet. Hi! Feet. He's looking at us. I'm excited to be able to have a baby I hope we get to see him. They also can jump straight up in the air about six to eight feet. <laughs> Better look of them up here. Right. Now, as you can see, they're kind of fanning themselves with their ears. That actually acts as a cooling system for them and can cool their body down up to 15 
degrees Fahrenheit. Now, typically over there on that side, you will see males by themselves. It's a lizard right there on that rock. <laughs> lizard spotting. The Jakey Bridge. Oh, they're making noise. Did you know that this whole island from the sky is actually a hidden Mickey? Fun little fact. Oh, yeah, there's an elephant. Aww. There he is. Alright friends, over to our left hand side we have some There's white the rhinos. rhinos. Oh, yeah. so their horns, their horns are actually made up of keratin. Which if keratin sounds familiar to you guys, that is what our hair and fingernails are also made up of. Gosh, I love these two. They're just like, we're sleeping in the shade. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the cheetah's walking around. Oh. seconds. You look so handsome. Usually she's always sleeping, she's up and active right now. <gasps> there she comes. Oh, she sees us. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Where are the lions at? Let's oh, see our lions. Oh my gosh, there he is. He's sitting up. He's sitting up. Oh my gosh, wait. Come to your left hand side. We do have a oh gosh, male lion up there. Oh. The lions can rest or sleep up to about 18 to 20 hours of their day. Oh, oh there's the kind of like if you guys have cats at home. They oh, do you have there too? But they do oh, love their hunting at night. We've got a great view of them up there. Hi right there. In the sun. Oh, oh no. yawn. Big yawn. Hi, pretty. Oh, he's so gorgeous. Oh, the ones on our back. Yeah, oh, she's like. Here, <laughs> in the middle of the safari. Wonderful pets for the warden. Their milk is all the grace for cheese. They also act as a little natural lawnmower because of all the grazing that they do throughout the day. This is the side that's the bachelor pad, like they say. Oh. Hi, pretty. Oh, my, so handsome. I want him to look back this way. Look back, look back. Oh. Oh, there it is. Hi, baby. Oh, they have such a pretty house. Look at this. So beautiful back here. Is there another one? Oh, he's in his little shaded spot. Oh, bless him, he's sleeping. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, he's out. Look at him. Oh. It's pretty funny. They actually always say that this is the bachelor pad. So if you go on the actual Gorilla Falls like exploration trail, you can the gorilla viewing area that you come up on is actually like there's part of it that you see is on the back side of this enclosure. So it's kind of like you can view their enclosure from both this angle here coming off of Kilimanjaro Safari and then also inside of the trek. And yeah, they always back there, they have it like separated out. They have the family side, and then this right here is the back side of the bachelor side, where all of the bachelor boys are. And then they have the family like separated out. About two years ago, I got to see baby Grace, who's the newest little girl that was born there. I saw her when she was 14 days old, and she was like the size of like a newborn human baby. Like she was so, so tiny, it was adorable. And she was like right up by the window with her mom, like her mom was holding her. That was. 
precious. I'm so sad you weren't with me. You didn't get to see that. I didn't. Oh, well, baby no, Grace. I, now she's I like a toddler. See her. Yeah, I know. It's the last time. We didn't come here in October. No. No. So you got to see baby Grace. She is so so precious. Now she's like a toddler. We also a couple years ago there was two twin baby boy gorillas that were born. And we got to see them when they were like in the toddler stage and it was hysterical. We stood there, the one, it was so cute. He was like splashing in the water. Absolutely precious, like <laughs> so precious. Okay, so we're heading on the Gorilla Falls exploration trail now to go see all of the babies up close. I just love all of the landscaping and everything in these trails and just throughout Animal Kingdom in general. That's why it's one of my favorite parks, I'm telling you. It's so, so pretty, just even walking around in here. See, this whole little section is kind of like, I think the animals are still in there, but it's just like roped off, so we can't look at it right now. It's a little bit of a modified version. Go, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, because they used to give you like a physical animal spotting map, like for the birds. Now you can scan your phone. That's so nice that they like thought of that and have that accessible here for you. I love the aviary with all the birds. I know, I love this fish. Look, he's just like opening his mouth talking. There's so many cute fish. You were just buzzed. That was a, that was a close one. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's just walking around. Hi. Oh, is there a nest? Oh my gosh, that's a big nest. Oh, look at these guys. Hi. Oh, look at he's making the nest. Aww. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, I see you make a nest. I think he's a white fluffy guy. Hey, he looks like a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? This little guy? Yeah. He does look like a pork. Look at him. Oh, sure. blue and yellow fish. He's so pretty. Cute little duck ducks. Look at him all the fish that's usually in here. Usually this thing is like filled with fish. Let's see, maybe on this side. Oh, look, this is the guy who was making a nest. How's your nest coming? Aww. My goodness, look at them. It's a little couple. Oh my gosh, he is. He's like just bobbing up and down with the water. Oh my goodness, how precious. This yellow guy is so pretty. Yes, you're just bobbing along there. You probably get back to sleep. Aww. Oh, yeah, look, it's just like rocking him to sleep. That is so, so cute. Oh, hi. I wonder, are those the ones that are like the weavers that they have to make the nest? Oh, yeah, because, oh, look up there, Mom. There's actual weaving nest. You see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the story with the little weaver birds, we learned this watching a special on, I believe it was on Animal Kingdom Lodge, and they were saying that the weaver birds, like, that make those nests, the males have to make them, and then they invite the female over, and she can decline, um, basically like a marriage proposal, she can decline if the nest is not up to her liking. So, gotta make your nest good if you're a weaver bird. <laughs> He's like resting his head on this rock, the hippo, look at him. That is the closest I've ever seen the hippo here at this part. is on the rock. I'm just like kind of floating there. That's funny. I love the Disney ducks up on top there. Okay, we're at the meerkat part and I do not see them. Where are they? I love my little meerkats. Like they are one of my favorite things to stand and watch. I love them all. I love to watch them all, but like the meerkats are just super entertaining. Oh wait, is he over here? Oh my goodness, look at them. Oh, look. Yeah, there's the one guy keeping watch, and this guy's digging a hole. I love watching him dig. <gasps> Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> He's, just He's looking. He's the, wa the one on watch, I think. I'm in charge. I'm watching things. I'm checking it all out. Oh. Hi. He just looks over at me. There's another guy watching up there. I like how they dig. <laughs> They're so cute. It's like, I'll help you dig. Mm -hmm. I'll help you. Oh, oh my 
gosh, that one guy just came up from his little hole. Hi. <laughs> That's it, I can stand here all day. Oh, he just found something to eat up there. He's eating something. Did you find a bug? What do you guys eat? Do you eat bugs? I guess you do. Uh, Is a baby here? Baby Grace? <gasps> baby Grace? Oh my goodness, she is. Oh, she's so big. Oh, when I saw you, you were like a little newborn. <laughs> this is nice, they're kind of social distancing and giving everybody a dot to stand on here at this. This is the first time I've seen them doing that at any certain enclosure. Oh my gosh, you look at him. That might be one of her older sisters. Oh, I didn't realize it's two of them hugging. Hi, oh my gosh. How precious. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> Oh, hi babies. So sweet. I want to know which one's Grace. Like how quickly do they grow? The smaller one? Oh, look at this guy. Hi. Hi baby. You are so cute. Look at the feet. <laughs> Just chilling out. Oh my goodness. Hi, precious baby. <laughs> that was so, so sweet. I feel so lucky we got to see them like so close. I that was so cool. We were just cuddled up hugging yes. each other. So sweet. I love that. to kind of explain a little bit more like what I was talking about earlier so we just came from that was like the family side where we saw like the baby gorillas we came around to this section and so like this still is part of that family gorilla enclosure like we could also see them up on this side and then across this bridge right here separates over there that is the bachelor pad as they call it with all the bachelor gorillas Anybody on this part of the family side? I don't see anybody. They were all down in the front there. There's one of those bachelors. Oh, he's looking. This was a little trick that when we saw those two um, twin brothers that were they were like in their toddler stage They were like that's probably the age graces right now They were like sitting right here and splashing in that little creek right there. It was adorable. Oh wait, there's one up there I think they're making their way over. I see somebody right there. All right moving on down the trek You see this is why I love Animal Kingdom. You can just like come here. Just stroll around. Look at all these cute babies I love it. This is totally my vibe. Those guys are up there. We didn't see them when we were on the other side coming in. None of them were out. Now they're all lined up. Animation Academy over here at Rafiki's Planet Watch. I've mentioned before that we all loved our favorite thing back when Animation Academy was a thing at Hollywood Studios. We would go around like time and time again because that's how much we enjoyed the experience. So I'm so happy that they brought it back here for any reason, but unfortunately we don't have the uh, straps that help be strapped back actually in yeah. the trunk. It does move, so we're fine and stop on this one. Do not be afraid of this one. A lot of people for some reason. Yeah.